Okay everyone, you came here today to learn about ArrayList variables. So the most, I guess, commonly used um, way of using the ArrayList is by making an inventory. Because in, say, a 10 by 10 inventory, you would have to have a 100 variables. And you don't really want to write them all out and manage them yourself. That is crazy. So what we're going to be using is an ArrayList. This is a pretty basic script function just using variables. Uh, it works in other programming languages as well, so like C++, Java, and all that. That all works. So anyway, in creation event here, we just create ourselves a variable. Let me just get it down to a workable size so you guys can see it. Okay, so now say if I were to make a normal variable, so say inv, can equal one, right? But this is only one variable. That's no good. Okay, actually, I'm going to make it equal zero. So that would just be one slot in the inventory. Uh, that's no good. So what we're going to be using is an array list. So we can go say inv and then square brackets. We can add any number we wish here, and then it's as if it was a different variable. Okay, so if I add a five here equals zero, then that would mean that that. Well, it really is just setting a different variable to that, but we can just change this number to whatever we want. Right? So, I mean, right off the bat, this doesn't look like it'd be very much helpful, besides just using the same name over and over again, right? Now we have two different ones. But this is only um, using, this is this is just doing it manually. So what we can use then is a repeat statement to change it. So first I'm going to have I initialized. Oh, wait a second. Zero. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So we can repeat, say, ten times. So if we repeat ten times, incrementing i. Okay. Now we can make this value inside the square brackets equal i. So that means that it'll repeat 10 times and i will keep getting bigger. So it'll count through and set a total of 10 variables. Okay. But what's really cool is I can set this to 100. And then there we have set 100 variables. That's cool. So let's say I now want to set this zero variable to random uh, 10. But I don't, I don't like it. Just, uh, you know, because it, it's an int, so that means it'll have two decimal places afterwards. So I'm just gonna go round, so it'll round it off to the nearest. Okay. So there we have it. Now I have set a large amount of variables. Now to make an inventory, however, I could just do it like this. But what makes it a little bit cooler is with an array list here, I can actually make another value in here. Oh, <laughs> see what I did there? I can actually have another one. So that way it'll be square. So here's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm just gonna make it repeat 10, i i equals zero, and then same thing here. Now because of this, I'm gonna actually leave a repeat statement inside of the repeat statement, okay? So this will be setting another repeat statement that will repeat 10 times every 10, like 10 times. So in, in other words, it'll be 100 times. Um, so then inside of here, equal, oh wait, sorry. Okay, so I, I will be incrementing inside of here and then it'll set itself to zero every time. So this will effectively create a grid instead of just a long list uh, using the inventory variable. So now we have an inventory say that's completely working and yeah so we just set a total of 100 variables to all different values well I could make it a hundred I suppose that would be more effective as to actual different values uh, some of them might be the same but anyway I'm now just going to actually make the inventory and then you can you can see how this is used so I'll see you in a bit
Okay, so you guys are back after just seeing me speed code everything. So what we're gonna do here? Uh, well, anyway, this, this little piece of code that I've I've <laughs> created here just pretty much does the exact same thing we did in the creation event. It loops through um, the grid and it draws all, a bunch of boxes and then it draws all the values inside of those boxes at the same coordinates. So, I mean, instead of drawing uh, numbers, you could have those numbers equal, I don't know, like a certain item you want to have. So say if inf equals like, I don't know, five, then it equal longsword. I don't know. Anyway, so you can really do anything with this as long as you know how this system works at its base level it's it's very easy to use and very handy as you can see I have a mass amount of numbers here all stored inside the same variable I did not have to name 100 variables okay this is awesome I have a large amount and I could easily change any one of these depending on say where my mouse position is I could change any, any one of these fairly easy so yeah that's just the basics of arrays. It's a very powerful tool, and once you once you get good at using it, you'll find yourself using it quite a lot in your coding. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I know I've, I've used it way too much. It's very handy. Anyway, so happy making inventories. Goodbye.